have a great day to all thank you sincerely for giving this opportunity to be a part of this uh, conference 12th international conference on interdisciplinary research for the sustainable development i am dr s jainti associate professor of english phd college of arts and science aquamatu tamil nadu in india my topic is today on a sustainable development in students education to the present scenario yes education reflects the health of a nation it is the future hope of a society under the present day education system students go to education institution to follow a syllabus that has been set for pushing towards a professional knowledge but not for the wisdom to life Therefore, it is essential to have a pragmatic change in the mindset of youngsters on a both psychological and physical levels. When weaving the problems associated with the students, it is necessary that all concerned parties, namely government, society, parents, and teachers, should attend the same and prepare your youngsters to be ready for the future uh, generation. we want education to build up a sustainable development in students lives and it should give an inner wisdom to lead a good life on this earth the true teacher is one who immediately come down to the level of the students and transfer his soul to the students so and as sees through and understand through his mind such a teacher can really teach i am come to the today's education the systems this this century is highly connected with the technology as we all of us know it is high mobility and globalization and generation z2 we have to know the difference between the learner center education and a teacher center education system before 10 to 15 years back we all are depend on teacher of everything to know about the text and to know about the subject or what or everything so the teacher is a void okay there is no any other source to receive the things that is called as a teacher center learning but now it is a, turns into learner centering le center learning why it means students are able to receive the information from internet and you through youtube through parents and they are going outside so in different dimension they are receiving the information about the academic uh, subject or the thing whatever they are going on So, if it is coming into higher education, they are possible to go for workshops, seminar, conference, um, and also inter inter college functions and IV trip. Uh, all these things will help them to know about more about their academic uh, things. So, in this way, now they are in learner center uh, co concepts is going on at the present. So, the problem is now the teacher should update according to the students' updations. Uh, in to the present scenario okay it's come to the teacher part of it and we have to update ourselves otherwise we will be outdated that is sure so what to do for that this is what a question arises with us no yes what to do this generation has some different characteristic from its preceding generation for that we have to implement different approaches of teaching methodologies and to the and method of teaching education and everything should be changed slightly compared to the previous so what are the changes we should bring we have to design a new model of education needs a new model and we are operate club we have to collaborate with the students teacher and um, schools and governments and everyone together we have to make this change Let's start with the basic questions. What kind of output that we really want from education system? Okay, and the education system need to be a more inclusive and diverse to ensure all students have access to education, regardless of their background or social economic status. This includes uh, improving access to education for girls, children, and disability on the marginalizing communities, etc. During pandemic time, most of the students are they all most students are turned towards online education. But that online education is not uh, uh, reached to every student. Those who are uh, uh, below social economic classes, they are not able to manage and to learn. So the this should be of uh, uh, be avoided in the future. The education should comes to everyone. As the Indian education system is facing so many problems. 
we need to come up with the effective solution so it improve and create a bright future for students we can start by focusing on the skill developments of the student the schools and colleges most not only focus on the rank and grades but on the analytical and the crit critical uh, thinking or creative skills of the children should also be focused in india actually we have a different boards of school education for example state board cbsc icse ib nios and aiss ece or something so lot of uh, different boards we have all these different boards they come out with their own system of education but of course they are doing their best in their uh, system but uh, the problem where occurs means all the students after completing their school education they are coming into the one streamline for end writing and entrance for their higher education for example neat and jr of or uh, something so in this way there it is not the equality in the, in that because the student compared to the state board students the cbc students students are more matured or they are more acquired knowledge from their academic uh, progress so this is uh, imbalanced so we are able to see the imbalance we have to balance it to balance in uh, this education system i think this inequality never going to be help the sustainable goal of the education system so uh, we should bring the world level better education systems to the whole nation under one system of education and it must be provide free of cost under indian right to education act uh, 2020 free and compulsory educations ensured to every children between the age of 3 to 18 in july 2020 the union um, the union cabinet approved a new national policy nep we used to say education policy to be a fully implemented by 2040 they also renamed the ministry of human resource development hrd as the education institute ministers to act as the single regulator for all schools and higher education institutions across india the traditional education approaches focus primarily on impacting information and knowledge to the students the modern education in india is several benefit most of the result of innovative research and, and research and creative and new technologies implemented instead of assuming that all students are at the same level modern education places an emphasis on the requirement of the individual students it follows the active based learning approaches such as questioning and the practical method elaborating demonstrating and in all these things this contemporary education increases the potential to differentiate the visualizing and creative creating creativity is uh, they use a practical approaches to education today and connect a principle to principles to everyday life however the state of indian education now is significantly better than it is was in the past the government is making a number of efforts to enhance the current indian education system significant changes in education have enabled as students to gain a practical knowledge and make it accessible to all the basis of learning was not only to read a book and memorizing information but also incorporated the holistic development of a children they in this include the mental and cognitive and physical and spiritual well beings of the student to the end to the conclusion i want to conclude that education is an important tool which is very useful in everybody's life education is what differentiate us from other living being on this earth it makes a man the most mortal creature on the earth it Im- improves empowers a humans and gets them ready to face a challenge on life efficiently true education means going behind earning degrees and bookies knowledge when it comes to learning furthermore the education means in calculating and helping attitude optimism in thinking and moral values of a life in the students with the aim of bringing positive changes in the society so this positive changes will comes only through the education the development will 
the development of a student or that the education policy will help to the development of the nation. So thank you once again for giving this wonderful opportunity to share my view on this occasion.